I come from a strong uh, Catholic family that my mom is the youngest of six and volunteering has just kind of been something we've been doing uh, since I can remember. Oh, I got you. I thought you were trying to look. It really is uh, amazing when you come in and four or, five, four or five of the children scream your name and they come running up and then you start and just having fun. And at the same time, you know it's helping out uh, the parents while you're basically getting to have fun with the kids. The Father Ed Judy House, a ministry of Catholic charities in Denver, Colorado, serves single women with children and helps them move from homelessness to stability. This is where you'll find many survivors of domestic violence and abuse who have found safety but remain homeless. This is also where you'll find Ben and Jen Williams. Twice a month, Ben and Jen cook a meal for the 20 or so residents. Then they help with tasks around the office before playing with the children so mothers can enjoy uninterrupted time for classes and better parenting. That's one of the things that was amazing working here is that it really changed our view on homelessness. I think before we started, we sort of maybe had the idea that anybody can pull themselves up by their bootstraps and you know what I mean, anybody can, can turn their lives around, but really when you see the circumstances that these women have had to deal with their entire lives, it really gives you a really good sense of how difficult it is to change your circumstances, especially when you don't have any resources available to you. You, you get a sense that you are kind of part of the help that maybe turns that family around. Catholic Charities also operates Lighthouse Women's Center, a licensed facility fully equipped to help women facing important decisions about their reproductive health. The Lighthouse Women's Center is a place for girls and women if they have a pregnancy or have questions about fertility or might think they're pregnant. Trained staff and counselors at Lighthouse offer a safe refuge where women can talk honestly and openly to come to the best decisions for themselves, the child, and their family. We're going to show them that they're loved and accepted. So we hope that people come and feel that they, they are loved, that their child is loved, and that God has waited for them all their life, that He's been there all along. Another ministry supported by Catholic Charities is Christ in the City, a missionary ministry for young adults started in 2007 under Catholic Charities and is now run by the Christian Life Movement. What's, what's going on like, how, with over there? Well, we started going over there, I guess, like two weeks ago, and just yeah. handed out drinks and stuff. So we started out um, after we had been through training, getting to know one another, getting to know Denver, getting to know the policies. Uh, we were given different missions, different um, places that we could serve. And for the Homelessness Task Force, there are three different locations that they felt our missionaries could make a difference and could be a positive impact for. So one of them is Triangle Park. We have three missionaries there from 12 to 2 every day. We have uh, two here at Capitol Hill, we call it, and then we have two on 16th Street Mall. So from 12 to 2 every single day, they go out and they encounter Christ in the city of Denver. Hi, there's want some lemonade or tea? Uh, uh, yeah, man, what you need. So how long have you been in Denver? A while. Yeah? How long have you been? It's just a little while. What's, What's your name? Manuel. What's oh, her, her name? name? Yeah, I was like, Marie. 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 Not the angels. Tell me why you think that. Well, you know, because when God sent these young kids out here, I was lost. And when they came and I met her and the rest of them, I got found. Oh, yeah. And they were yeah. yeah. There's a joy. There's a peace and contentment in knowing that your presence can be enough. Well, these can be here. We just won't talk about them. When you volunteer, you recognize that so much of what we do actually has nothing to do with us. 
And sometimes it's just being a presence. Sometimes people just need to know that they're not alone and that they're worthy of our time. I think it's a good thing because they give their heart. They don't give one part of it, they give everything to a person. It will change you, it will. So I give a warning, um, be ready because you will be um, transformed in a way that you couldn't have seen possible. It's really interesting to see the changes that you can actually make in these people's lives, even with as short as, I mean, we only do this every other weekend. So, I mean, it's not something that we're having to do every day, but you really can make a difference even just with a couple hours every couple weeks. Jesus always just came and sat down with people. He didn't say, well, you have to get all cleaned up and then come see me when you get your act together. In a sense, God coming to earth, being one of us, He entered into our story, just where we are, just what we were going through at that time. And we've all been there. We've all been in that place where we hoped, we hoped that we would look at somebody and we would see forgiveness and that we wouldn't be turned away. And that's what we wanted to do. He says, you know, that's when you need to take care of the poor and the needy. You'll always have them with you. You need to take care of, you know, of them. And I think that that speaks really strongly to us is that, you know, we've been pretty blessed in our lives. And I mean, we really need to, to help other people, especially people who are less fortunate. So what about you? Where will you do your part? to serve the poor and needy in our communities and churches. We hope you will serve alongside with us through Catholic Charities. By supporting Catholic Charities, you are there with Christine and the street missionaries of Christ in the city. Commit today to Catholic Charities and you will be with Ben and Jen and the staff of Father Ed Judy House. Give to Catholic Charities and you are giving to Paula Sir and her work at Lighthouse. Open your heart. Serve the poor and the needy. Come, serve with us.